Yo, what's up guys? So yesterday I posted a video of my new PC, my new um, G Pro wireless um, mouse. But today I told you guys I was gonna unbox my Huntsman Mini, which I have here, but I also have the A10 Astro headset because I need a new headset really bad. So I went ahead and picked this bad boy up. And then I also picked up Razor Viper, Viper Mini, but not the, it's the Huntsman Mini. Very nice keyboard, as you can see. But I'm basically going to be unboxing this and stuff and just showing you the Astro headset as well. So let me just show you my keyboard I have right now. I guess so I turned on my lights so you guys can see a bit better. But this is my mouse. If you missed yesterday's video, it's charging right now. Hold on. Turn on my PC. Okay. So this is my old keyboard. 100% it's a Red Dragon. But it's, it's nice or whatever, but... Just it sounds kind of membrane-y if you're gonna hear it. Stabilizers are pretty bad. Bad stabilizers or stuff like that. So this new keyboard that I bought, the Razer Huntsman Mini, I'm gonna go get it real quick. Okay, so I unplugged my old keyboard and set it aside and then I got you guys a better view. So you guys can see a little bit better. But here it is right here. Hold on. So as you can see up here, so I start with this little manual thing, put that aside. But in this little thing, if you take this off, for gamers, by gamers, has a little Razer Huntsman mini thing on here. It's just like um, nice little features that come with the keyboard, stuff like that. And also a sticker, a rainbow one, if you could see that. But yeah, it comes with that. And then it comes with a plan if you want. The protect your razor gator today but that is what comes with the little um papers and instructions right there and then right here this piece of cardboard this will set back right here there we go we got this the cord uh, i think the cord's pretty nice Here's the cord. Let's go ahead and unpin this. So it looks like it's just a nice USB A. USB A all the way to USB C. Very thick cord, by the way. You could also see those grooves on it. It's pretty nice little detail. And the cord's very nice. Nice thread. Now, we can move on to the keyboard. I'm trying not to touch the switches. I don't want to click it on accident, but let's get rid of the box over here. And here is the keyboard. So very nice here, as you can see. Uh, plastic wrap all over it. Let's go ahead and put this on. Okay. So here we go on the back. You guys can see that it says for gamers by gamers all on the back and then it also has two retractable feet it has the first little tiny one it also has a big one for both of them big one and then tiny one so that's nice so if you ever want to adjust it you can and then that's where you plug your cord in right there right down there yeah very nice very clickety yeah i just tried it real quick just for you guys but now go ahead and get this plugged into my pc here can't even plug this in there we go Ooh, very nice and i think the box tells you yeah so it tells you how to change the things so it has let's see what it has here all static static bre breathing spectrum cycling wave reactive and starlight so i think i'm just gonna go with fn control 2 fn control 2 just fn control 3 i don't get Okay, 
really fat. What's this up a little bit? Okay. There's that. I'm trying to do wave, which is nice little wave of colors. There we go. That's the one I like. I'm gonna put both the medium feet up. Fix the cord up a little bit. And there you go. That is the Razor Huntsman Mini here. Very nice, very nice keycaps. <laughs> very nice keycaps. Very nice switches, as you can hear. But let's go ahead and get um, a keyboard um, test for you guys, just to see how it sounds. But now that we're all done reviewing that Razer keyboard, it is time to open up the A10 Astro headset. So I've actually never owned the Astro headset. So this can be very interesting. So, okay. Yeah, I've never opened an Astro headset before. Let's just see how it goes. I heard they're supposed to be really good, but. This little box. That's little designs in the boxes. You guys can kind of see that. Hard to see, but it had nice designs in there. So right off the top, it says, has little nice, like, instructions and just attention stuff for um, the A10 headset. And then if we lift it up, here's the actual headset itself, all wrapped up in here. So here's the headset itself. Very comfy looking. Oh my. But nice mic. I'm not going to be using this. So I'm going to be using my microphone, my Blue Yeti microphone. But very nice mic. Very good build quality, I feel like. But looks very comfy with all the padding. But inside, it's the actual cord. So, has a cord splitter here. If you guys don't know what this is for, let me show you real quick. So when you guys ever get a PC, there's actually a headphone jack and a mic jack. Okay, as I showed you there, there's a headphone and a mic jack and a PC. And this microphone really is meant for PC, but what this does is it splits it up so that basically the PC thinks, knows that it's headphones and a microphone. But I don't need this because I'll be using my Blue Yeti, like I said before. But I do need the cord it comes with, which is long, which is good. Okay. Very nice long cord. I, I need a long cord for my PC. But very nice. It has a mute. Is that a mute? No, this is just the volume little scroll wheel thing on here. But now little plug-in right there, and you just plug it in. Okay, I'm gonna take the tape off the microphone here. Okay, now that I got the tape all off this, it looks very comfy, but I'm gonna go ahead and try a model plug. Uh, I don't know what way they go on. Okay, this is the left, so they go on like this. Okay, I'm gonna fix they're adjustable, by the way, which is good. And there we go. Okay, let's plug this in my PC. But this is the headphones I used to use. Super bad. Um, they're Turtle Beach, they're like 20 bucks online. The mic quality is really good, but the quality wasn't, so I'm going to put this into my microphone. And boom, I could hear. <laughs> and when this is up, it's muted, and then when this is down, it's not muted. 
but I went, like I said before, I won't be using that, but this headset is very nice. Decent little size here. Yeah, very nice headset. I uh, highly recommend it, even though I just unboxed it, but it feels really good build quality, very comfortable, very affordable. But yeah, we got a nice little headset here. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Um, just a short, not short, but just a little video of me unboxing my keyboard and my new headset for my setup. If you guys didn't check out my other video of me unboxing my PC and redoing my whole setup, go check that out. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.